Yeah, I'm Minnie. Minnie. Because she's Minnie. Dude, these are finger condoms. Yeah, they really are. Finger Talk to us condoms. about finger condoms. Okay, yeah, finger condoms are for your fingers. Just because it's your fingers, like your hands, you touch a lot of stuff, they might be dirty. Even though you wash your hands, it still could be dirty. So, to be safe, you can put finger condoms on and do whatever you want. Based nonprofit organization uh, which partnered with Lutheran Medical Center, which is a hospital. We are a team program that does HIV and AIDS outreach and prevention. So we go out to the community, we produce shows, we produce workshops for youth uh, to help them learn about uh, really about sex. So the buttons, right? They are like the sayings on the buttons are for safe sex. So this one says, Don't be silly, protect your willy. Protect your willy. Yeah, and this one says, be safe in the bed, die. Whoever did that was smart. This was designed by Project Reach Youth, and this is what they're going to be handing out to young people in the neighborhood that we're going to today in Bed-Stuy uh, to invite them to the open mic. So really, this open mic is not about Eternia Rock and as much as it's about the people in the neighborhood getting a chance to get up on stage in front of their peers and share things that matter to them. It's where I come from, we graffiti our hearts on concrete sidewalks. Where I come from, we bury our uncle in our backyards. Where I come from, we bury our history in a white man's smile. Where I come from, we no longer seem to cherish life. I'm yeah, I mean, I probably would not be rapping if I wasn't born and raised where I was because, um, like, the only time I first found that people found it strange that I look the way I do when I rap was when I came to the States. Like, in Canada, it wasn't weird because all my friends was, like, every different ethnicity. Um, and it was just normal. I was rapping since the age of eight. I was writing my own rhymes since the age of 12. I was like on the mic at the performances at the age of 15. So for me, it was never weird. My mother didn't even find it weird. I used to write poetry, I used to speak fast. She was like, of course she raps. So like, nobody in my family was like, what is she doing? It was just something that I did since I was really young. And then I moved to New York, or I moved to Connecticut in the 90s, and everyone's like, you're an anomaly. Where'd you come from? How do you exist? It's not a matter of, of color. It's a matter of culture and a matter of socialization and entrepreneurship, which is what most communities in New York City have been hinged upon. Imagine cops with no racism and no guns. Imagine to start over with a mind that is empty. Imagine if in 97 I never started the MC. Imagine if females weren't treated secondary. Or black history, 11 months plus February. We need to go back to the basics. Stop being in this booth all wasted. Cause I spilled my blood into this cup and my dream I already tasted. There's no time for complacency. Born in Jamaica, residing in Brooklyn, and there is no difference. HIV is still spreading. I'm smart. I came in third in my class. I did everything I had to do. I graduated high school. I'm going on to college. Where are you now? I'm going to make something of my life. Where are you 10 years from now? Not with me. For me, it was always about balance. It's like, my girl always says it's major one. She raps. She says, for every, you know, little Kim, there should be a Lauren Hill. And my issue is that in the dominant media, you don't see that. You only see women depicted one way in hip hop. And that's not just the issue of men. Women choose to do this too. We have a choice, you know what I mean? So, so um, I like to change what I don't like in the world through actions, not words. So what I'm doing to impact that is being a woman that raps, that doesn't, you know, use my body to sell, but still dresses feminine, dresses like a woman. But, you know, that's all I can do. It's like, I'm that dripping the bucket. It's like, okay, there is something different. and in my gut because my gut was doing flips so I'm gonna perform something I've never done and it's actually really hard to do so I thank you guys for being um, the first audience that I do this in front of support, support. And, uh, yeah. it's a letter to my future husband Aww. Aww. Yeah. Well, 
I admit to you, mom's raised me alone without a dude, so I got some issues. I could say I do, but before I do, you should know some things that I have been through. Pops was not a nice dude. He tried to kill my mother this one time I was still in the womb. So does that make me the fool? Because when I call him up now and then and say I love you, it's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Goes like yeah. this. Hey, yo. I admit to you. And then her says, think safe, act safe, be safe, best side. Hey. Ow. Get it? That's it. Dig it. So that's what we do. Well, they're all day, every day, street team, theater.